This wind tunnel, which is the largest of its kind in Europe, can be operated at both subsonic and supersonic speed. It is used for detailed testing of accurately scale models of aircraft and missiles. Each model is fully instrumented before being mounted in the test section. The supporting sting can be pitched and rolled to obtain the required attitude relative to the high speed stream of air. A test is about to begin on this model of the Anglo-French supersonic transport aircraft, the Concorde. Once the tunnel shell is sealed, control of the test is centered in the observation room. The model is remotely viewed by television cameras and the flow pattern observed by a Schlieren display system. When calibration measurements have been made, Instructions to change the air pressure inside the tunnel and to start the main drive are given to the subsidiary control rooms. The electric motors, totaling 80,000 horsepower, drive the 10-stage axial flow compressor. The color clearing picture shows the shockwave pattern around the model as the speed increases through the high subsonic range. Once the starting shock wave has passed the model, a steady supersonic flow is achieved. While the model attitude is controlled remotely, the aerodynamic data is recorded on punch cards in the observation room. With the color system used for these tests, a shock wave appears as a red band, whilst rapidly expanding flow is blue. The model is now being pitched and rolled at a Mach number of 1.4. When the measurements at this condition are completed, the Mach number is increased whilst the test is in progress by adjusting the profile of the flexible walls forming the nozzle. The required profile is selected automatically by a punch tape control system. The model is now at the Mach number at which the Concorde will cruise, just over twice the speed of sound. In order to obtain quick sample results, the punch card data can be translated onto typewritten sheets during the test. The fully corrected results are obtained from an electronic computer when the tests have been completed.